Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. This time we're going to be doing something different. I have recreated Captain America's shield in Unity and posted it on my social media and some of you have asked for a tutorial on it. So here we go. Before we code it in and implement it into Unity we need the shield made in 3D. This tutorial will focus on this. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. Here we are in a brand new project. I have set up screencast down here so you can see what I am pressing in case I go too fast. We will start by selecting all objects in the scene and deleting them. Press Shift A to add a new mesh of type UV sphere. Press 7 on your numpad so we have a view from above and down here you will choose how many segments you want. This is how rounded the shield will be. And for rings, make sure you have 10. Cool, now go into edit mode, go into front view by pressing 1 on the numpad, then switch over to wireframe view so that we can group select the faces below the half and delete them. We are left with this dome looking thing. Switch over to Edge Select by pressing 2 or selecting them up here. Holding Alt, select the bottom edge loop, then fill it by pressing F. Awesome. Go into Front View, select the whole mesh and scale it on the Z axis. Find your desired shape for the shield, then move it down to the center. Alright, let's do the materials real quick. The main material would be steel. Then add a new material called red material and give it a red color. Then add a blue material and give it a blue color. Switch to material shading so that we can assign these materials and see them change. On face select mode and holding alt Highlight the most outer face loops, then skip one and highlight the next one. Select the red material and click assign. Deselect everything and then select all of the center faces to assign them to the blue material. Awesome. Now select everything and press H to hide it. Add a new mesh of type circle with 10 vertices. Deselect everything and then select every second vertex. Scaling down to whatever start shape you wish. Select all the vertices and press E to extrude it and then Z to fix it on the Z axis. After you raise it, just press F to fill the star. Select the whole star and move it downwards so that we can unhide or shield and fit them two together. Alt H to unhide or shield. Using vertex select, press L while hovering over any vertex of the star. This will select only the star mesh. Go into top view and scale it down so that it fits the blue part of our shield. Go into front view and move the star downwards to merge it together with the shield. Lastly, we are going to make sure our faces are pointing on the right direction, so enable face orientation mode. If there are any red faces, then that means they are facing inwards. Simply select those faces and go up here to mesh, normals, and flip. Now they should all be blue. Great. All you have to do next is change the name of the mesh and export it as an FBX, OVJ or whatever type of file works best for your project. That is it for this tutorial. On the next tutorial we will see how to implement this shield into a first person game. 
If this was useful for you, please like and subscribe. Also, if you want this shield, and also I have a bunch of different abilities as well as different assets for video games, please consider becoming a patron. It will help me out a lot. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.